Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on the brand new 2019 Schleich Dinosaur range. So without further ado let's take a look at the first figure. So the first figure that was revealed was this brand new Spinosaurus. Now, when Schleich announced they were doing yet another Spinosaurus, everyone was very apprehensive about what it was going to look like, considering Schleich's previous attempts at a Spinosaurus figure. But when this was unveiled, this blew everyone away. I mean, this looks fantastic. I believe this was sculpted by Vlad Konstantinov, the same guy who brought us the tower and Cetacosaurus for this year. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. It looks pretty darn accurate, actually. I mean, it has the short back legs. Um, it's not on all fours. It's more hunched over. It has the, the correct sail. Um, the skull actually looks very, very good, considering that Schleich's previous Spinosaurus heads haven't been that accurate. Um, the tail's got some nice um, spines. Um, near the, the tip, the colour scheme is very, very nice. I, I like the red on, on the head and the throat area. I think it looks really, really amazing. I cannot wait to see this in hand and review it on the channel. And I do believe it also has an articulated jaw. So that will be an excellent feature that I look forward to showing you guys when I review it. Now, the next figure that was unveiled was this brand new Nodosaurid. This is Animantarx. Now, many of you might not have, not have heard of this animal, and granted, I think a few of my friends didn't until it was actually um, unveiled. Um, Animantarx is a type of Nodosaurid from, I believe, North America, but not a lot of the remains are completely known, so I think they kind of had to do a bit of guesswork in how to uh, represent the animal. Um, but I think it doesn't look that bad. I like the, the shoulder spines and all of the armor and osteoderms. I mean, the color scheme is typical brown and everything. I mean, hopefully it looks better in hand because, you know, it's a, it's a new ankylosaur. And I, I like ankylosaurs and nodosaurs. But um, yeah, hopefully um, with better pictures, it should become a firm fan favorite in the years to come. And now we get into some of the repaints. Ugh. So here we have the brand new 2019 Giganotosaurus, and it's the same figure that was released back in 2015, just with the new color scheme. I mean, I do quite like the new color scheme with the uh, cream and black stripes running down the back, but... Uh, it's just the same figure that was released previously. I mean, I would have preferred a brand new sculpt. Imagine what Vlad could have done with the Giganotosaurus, but no, apparently not. No, it's just a, a repaint, but yeah, I, I won't be getting it, just like the last one. I mean, as I said, the colour scheme looks alright, but personally, I will not be getting this one. And then we have this really, for me, kind of awkward repaint of the Dimetrodon. Again, I believe from 2015. Uh, I, I I question the colours of what they've chosen. I mean, I know that a lot of Schleich um, figures are quite cartoony with their colours. But in recent years, I think they've actually adapted quite well to colour schemes. But this just looks ridiculous. I mean, I know that some Demetrodon lived in a swampy environment. And I guess the colour scheme does kind of work. But it's... I don't know, it just... For me, the, the real bright green doesn't feel natural. I mean, the sail's quite nice. I quite like the sail, but... I would have gone with a different colour scheme for the, the rest of the animal. And again, like with the Giganotosaurus, I will not be picking this one up. No. No thank you. And lastly, we have a, another brand new sculpt. This is the Dimorphodon. Now, there's definitely something familiar about this figure. Where have I seen this color scheme before? Hmm. I know I've seen it somewhere. Uh, ah, it'll come to me. 
But anywho, um, yeah, I've got to say, it's a definite improvement over their last Dimorphodon that they did. They released it in a two-pack with, I believe, a repainted Therizinosaurus. But yeah, um, this definitely is a big, big improvement. The head is definitely a lot better. Uh, the picnic fibers look better. I mean, I will say some people have commented that the front legs look a little weird in the way that they're standing. And I do kind of agree. But I'd say it, it definitely does look good. I mean, I would, I do want to see better images of the figure. Uh, just to see, you know, if there's anything else that we've missed. But it really does look quite nice. I mean, I might get it. I might not. I don't know. I want to see better pictures first. But, um, but yeah, so, um, these are my thoughts and opinions on the brand new Schleich figures. Um, some are good, some are, eh, especially with the repaints. Um, but, you know, let me know what your guys, um, thoughts and opinions are on these figures. Will you be picking any, any of these up, or will you give some a, a pass? Um, and yeah, so um, I will be doing the um, collector ones very soon. I just want to wait until next Friday when they reveal, I think, the last maybe one or two. And then we just wait for the brand new Papo figures to be unveiled. So I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.